Hi everyone! Welcome to Special Angel Art Dolls. My name is Nicole and this is a Reborn Art Doll channel. Today I am here with lots and lots of little helpers, eight in all, because we are going to talk about Reborn Doll baby wearing. This video is the first in a series about what baby wearing for Reborns is, what it means, how to do it, um, how to choose a carrier, and what to look out for. So I hope that you stick around and enjoy it, and I hope you learn something. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what baby wearing actually is. What does that mean? Maybe you're a childless person like me, or maybe your kids aren't little anymore, or maybe they're long grown and gone and you've never heard this term. So baby wearing just means the act or the regular practice of wearing your baby on your body in a sling wrap or other kind of carrier. So there are lots of benefits to do this with real babies. There are benefits for the babies and for their parents or caregivers. And there are benefits to wearing your reborn as well, but those benefits are very different. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why you might want to consider doing it and why you might not. So let's get right into it. Reason number one that you might want to consider wearing your reborn is for travel. Because no matter how large or small your reborn doll is, you are able to wear them on your body when going out or taking a trip or whatever you might be doing instead of having a bulky stroller or car seat. So this is my biggest girl. I'm just gonna, whoops. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn a little bit to uh, give you some different angles of us. And she is 40 inches tall. This is Lyndon, she's 40 inches tall and I am still able to quite comfortably wear her on my hip in this hip hammock. It just goes around my waist and she just sits in it. And I can freely take her just about anywhere. And it's not entirely hands-free because it doesn't go all the way up her body, but if I do let go of her for a minute, she's quite secure. So yeah, um, this would be my number one choice for if I was going to take her out somewhere because it just takes the pressure off my back and my shoulders and my arms. She's quite big and quite heavy. So yeah, that is reason number one that you might want to wear your reborn. Another reason that you might choose to wear your reborn is privacy. Um, some carriers make it significantly less obvious that your doll is not a real baby. Now, a quick note on this one. This is not safe for real babies. This carrier was recalled many years ago. This type of design is never ever safe for a real infant. However, it is one of my favorite ways to carry my reborns because I can have him peeking out. This is Owen, by the way, Owen Sage. Or I can tuck his little head in and he is, he is pretty much covered up and I can just turn his face a little bit towards me so that if someone does happen to see him it still looks like he can breathe but he is pretty hidden from view and um, this is one of my favorite ways to um, travel in particular with reborns if I'm gonna have a busy day because I don't want all the extra attention that they often get I just want to go about my life and get where I'm going. So this carrier is great for that. And there are lots of other carriers that are quite safe that also give you options for um, screening your baby a little bit from the outside world. And the other um, thing that's great about these types of carriers or really any carrier is that people are a lot less likely to come up to you and want to touch your baby or get in their face when they are attached to your body. So, privacy is a big one. 
The next couple of reasons are sort of hand in hand. So one of them might be comfort and convenience. So maybe you really like the feeling of the weight of your baby against your body. You love to cuddle them. You love the feeling of holding them on your chest and patting their little bottom. And you love just looking down at them or being able to just kiss their little head. But you can't sit there all day and just hold your baby. You have a life and you have to do stuff. Well, <laughs> wearing your reborn baby can give you a chance to do both. So you can feel free to put your baby in their carrier or their sling and snuggle them while you go about your daily life. This is Little Miss Season. She's my cuddle baby, which makes her extra fun to wear. And she is in the baby sling in what is called the hug hold. And she's cuddled against my body and I'm completely hands free, meaning that I can do anything that I need to get done around the house or I can just walk around outside or whatever I might wanna do. And she's right against me. And um, the reason that kind of goes along with that is also realism. So this is um, a very realistic carry that you would use with a real infant. And um, if you like to role play with your reborns or you like to um, emotionally connect with them, which in the doll world we call bonding, this is a great way to do it because they are nice and close to you with an easy cuddle reach and you can just look at them and admire them and enjoy being around them and still go about your life. I wore real children when I used to babysit and just be around to help some of my friends with really young kids. And it was such a rewarding thing to do. I loved it and I miss it. And if I had had my own children, this is absolutely something that I would have wanted to do with them. So. For me, the realism definitely comes into so it. So now that we've talked about some reasons to wear your Reborn, let's talk about some reasons why you might not want to. So the first reason is pain. Any kind of chronic back, neck, or shoulder pain, any kind of nerve damage, possibly tension headaches, migraines, any kind of um, chronic inflammation, um, these are good reasons to carefully consider whether or not you actually want to wear your reborns on a regular basis. And if you do, and you, you may still be able to, it depends on your personal circumstances, but if you do, it's a good idea to get a carrier that does not cause the weight of the baby to pull forward on your body or put all the weight in one particular spot. Um, and I will talk more about how to choose a carrier in the next video. Another kind of related reason might be sensory concerns, sensory issues. Um, carriers can feel quite restrictive. Vinyl reborns especially are not as soft as <laughs> real flesh and blood skin. And so um, the feeling of having them pressed up against your body could be uncomfortable for some people. Some people might find a carrier hot or restrictive. I'm not a fan of wearing my Reborns in a baby wrap for this reason. So across this, the videos in this series, you will see that I do not use a wrap. Um, I have three carriers now that I like and I pretty much stick with them. And again, I will go into more of that in a later video. But another thing to be aware of with sensory issues is your center of balance, your center of gravity. So even though Reborns, um, you know, they are weighted, but generally a little bit lighter than a living baby would be of the same size and age, wearing them on your body still does shift your center of gravity. So if you have any balance problems, that is something to be aware of and think about. And last but not least, the reason that you might not want to wear your Reborn might be personal preference. Maybe you really like strollers. Um, maybe you collect them. Maybe you 
actually don't take your Reborns places at all. Um, maybe you prefer for them to be visible at all times or completely hidden when you do. Um, maybe you want their whole outfit to be visible all the time. Um, there could be any number of reasons that you might choose not to wear them. And that's okay. It is a personal choice. Um, baby wearing your Reborns can be a fun and rewarding experience. But they are not real. They cannot reap the emotional and physical benefits that real babies can from being worn. And it's all about your comfort. So if you're not comfortable with it or you don't want to do it or you don't think it sounds fun, then you don't have to do it. This video is just meant to provide some information about it, and I hope that you found it helpful. And there will be more to come about more specifics of what to consider when doing it. So let me know in the comments below, do you wear your reborn babies? Have you ever? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, would you like to try it if you haven't? Or do you prefer something else for transporting them? So let me know. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time. Take care and God bless. Bye.